Hi, Sagittarius, and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for July. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you're doing well. This is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or sign in Sagittarius, and uh, it's a um, way for us to get a little insight and guidance and any messages that may come up for Sagittarius during July. Okay, the first two cards I choose is an awareness. So the awareness for the week is that we're going to be thinking about and uh, focused on perhaps our work or our hobbies. It's the things that we really pay attention to and time spent where we're not distracted, where we're very focused, where we enjoy the process, we enjoy the skill that we have as we apply it. And we're quite proud of what we do. You know, so whether that shows itself, you know, for example, if you're a great cook and you're cooking for folks this week and, you know, you're taking your time and you're prepping the uh, recipes and then the shopping and then setting everything up, you know, there's a lot of care within that. And so with the Eight of Pentacles, we get a real sense of, of doing what's uh, needed doing it well, taking your time, and, you know, being very focused on the details. And so, you know, whether you're working hard on a relationship or if you are working hard on a degree or a certification or you're getting more training, there's a sense here that you're very focused on what you're doing and you take pleasure in what you're doing as well. So then we have the sun, major arcana card. We see the child here riding on the horse, free as a bird, you know, feeling free. The red cape here, the red, red banner signaling our passions, our desires. The sunflowers here signaling the abundance. And really this is a card of, of, a, of abundance, of prosperity, and, and, and of happiness, of finding joy, and finding joy in our everyday uh, experience. And so, you know, the sun provides our life force. The sun gives us uh, the energy and the inspiration to do all the wonderful things that we do. So for you, the sun is a card of happiness in your relationships, in your activities, the things that you have going on. Be inspired. Let the light shine on you and in you. And from that, you can, you know, you feel a little bit more enlightened. You feel a little more uh, vigorous about life, particularly for this week. And you send your vibrational light out into the world. And that is a, an awesome thing to be aware of and to be able to do. So now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. We have another big card, Major Arcana, the Chariot. And the Chariot is, uh, as you see the charioteer here, he's uh, driving the chariot between the, the black and white Sphinx who are pulling it. That black and white Sphinx uh, symbolizes, you know, how things in life pull us in different directions and sometimes can split our energy or weaken our energy. And, and this card is really about confidence. It's about having the belief in yourself and your skills that you can navigate whatever path comes your way. So if the road is bumpy, if there are obstacles, you are talented enough and skilled enough and secure in your own abilities to be able to handle it. And the chariot is a card of success. It's a card of reaching your goals, of perhaps being recognized. And so we have two cards here really about recognition in a sense for what you've achieved and what you've done. And so as far as guidance, it's be confident in your actions, um, move forward. Don't let the obstacles get in your way. Don't let the little things 
set you off course. You're going to be able to pull it all together. You're going to be able to find the path down the middle, perhaps, that gets you closer to your goals, to your hopes, to your dreams. So then we have the, the Five of Swords. And in the Five of Swords, you can see this uh, guy is standing here holding the swords. And then we see the two figures walking away. When I look at this card, it makes me think of the old ABBA song, The Winner Takes It All. The winner uh, takes it all, the loser standing small, something like that in the lyric. And, and here there's someone who has clearly won the battle. So whether you are dealing with arguments this week, petty disagreements, philosophical discussions that are going haywire perhaps, um, uh, positioning for ego or for dominance perhaps in a work situation or in a relationship situation is that you really need to be mindful about the, uh, the battle at hand. Is it worth it to come out on top? Sometimes it is. Sometimes we need to dig deep and we need to say, yeah, I'm not going to give up on this one. Other times it may be in our best interest to say, you know, this isn't really worth ruining a friendship over. This really isn't worth um, making my partner feel like crap. So, you know, you have to weigh these things. And again, it's the duality of tarot. You see someone who wins and you see others who are walking away. So this goes towards discussions, conflict, um, again, disagreements, uh, things that uh, someone clearly is going to come out as a quote unquote winner. So now I'm going to choose two cards for possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, and this the sword energy we have. This is the air element of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so we see the warrior here resting, taking a break from a situation to recover, to re-energize, to restore, and perhaps maybe to think about things in a different way before going back to the situation. This doesn't mean that the situation leaves you. It's a sense of resting and giving your mind and your body and your soul a chance to catch up to whatever the events have been going on. And so with this Four of Swords, we think of recovery. We think of a lot of words with the prefix of re, restore, re-energize, a reset, a respite. And, um, you know, whether you are able to find this rest through meditation, through reflection, through you know, salt baths, through whatever it may be, you need to find a way to recover and to put yourself perhaps in a stronger position, a healthier position, or a rested position before you go back to the situation. And so what's very interesting is here we have the Knight of Swords. Possible outcomes could be, again, you see he's in full stride. He is in fast movement with that horse. The hair is blowing back on the horse. The hair is, or whatever this is, the feather uh, is blowing back as well. Gray skies. The trees are bending back. There's no hesitation with this knight to get in there, to get into the situation. So being rested, you're ready to get back in. And whether you are fighting for the truth, arguing for the truth, trying to deal with things in a rational, um, you know, uh, intellectual fashion, you know, perhaps that's your challenge. And maybe it's the challenge for the week is trying to talk to people in an objective way in which they can listen to the facts or they can get a sense of what you believe is the truth before moving on. But this is very much of getting right back in, jumping into a situation, ready to defend, ready to protect, and re really ready to bring in the element of the swords with this, which is the, uh, the 
desire for truthful communication, for honesty and integrity, and for dealing with the facts. So we have a lot of strength and a lot of vitality, and it seems that that vitality is going to be needed for the week as you're dealing with this sword energy, which is perhaps some discussions, arguments, or things that need to be resolved, decisions that need to be made. And, you know, you're going to have to bring that um, element of objectivity to it. So let's get a little more information. And this is a general practice area card for the week, a meditation point, perhaps something to focus on. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So steady progress is, um, you know, chipping away at your goals. And again, using your talents and your skills that the chariot lets you know that you have because you do, you have mastery of that chariot. You have the confidence to be able to navigate whatever path there is. And, you know, using the sun to light the way, the vitality and the forcefulness of the sun to help you make progress. And steady progress in dealing with the situations that you may be facing with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So now I'm going to choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Let's get an idea of the messages for our spirit. And this is stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source, yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. And so to reconnect uh, to the source, it's a way of finding centeredness, a way of finding your equilibrium, and to uh, find ways to connect to spirit, either through practices such as tarot, or astrology in many senses, or, you know, prayer, and um, channeling, it may be as simple as sitting and just being in peace for a moment to, to let the feelings and the energies come through you. I think staying connected is also a message of being aware, being aware of your physical state, being aware of what's going on with your emotions, with your head. Where are you? You know, where's your head space this week? Are you in a positive mindset? Are you in a worried mindset? You know, it seems that you should be What's driving this is this, the sun and the chariot that you should be feeling rather confident as you deal with these other matters and as you are, you know, putting in the hours, the work. And finally, let's get a sense of a card for love. What do the cards want us to know for love for Ver this week? Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And practicing compassion is certainly, it's a, it's a matter of being of service. It's a matter of, again, um, internal and external awareness. Putting yourself in someone else's place. Understanding what it is for their journey that they're going through. And when you're able to practice compassion, you know, then it's, uh, I just think it makes you perhaps a little more gentle on yourself as you go through things too. Because it just uh, makes you appreciate life. It makes you appreciate the softness and the gentleness of life. And to be kind, to be gentle to all people. And even on the days when maybe when you're not feeling it, that's the real challenge. 
but to practice compassion uh, allows you to see things in a different lens. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you have an amazing week. If you found this reading helpful, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. Check out some of my other readings, and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.